This video is for Mobius Lesson 10, homework question number 10. The following table gives the latitude of countries that won medals in the 1994 Winter Olympic Games in Lillehammer, N Norway. It also shows the number of medals won by each country. And here's our table. Uh, I've enlarged my text so that it'll be easier to see on the video. Uh, yours will probably be a little smaller. Copy and paste this data into Excel and find the linear tre trend line for the data. So I'm going to simply highlight just in the table and I'm going to just press Control C if you have a Mac that's Command C and again I also made this Excel spreadsheet a little larger and I made the columns a little bit larger as well so that um, everything fits really nicely I can make them go a little smaller now okay uh, now that I have all of this copied over, we're going to move to the next part that says find the linear trend line for the data. So I'm going to highlight my two columns here with all of my data points, come to insert, my chart will be a scatter chart right here. I can uh, do a quick layout, add some uh, titles for the different axes. Sure, why not? Uh, I could also include in my quick layout where it uh, allows me to give uh, the points for the data points. Um, I could also change those. If I chose that, I can change these by right clicking here and say format data labels. In here, I can say I want to know the series, uh, not the series name, I want uh, value from cells and explain that I want these over here to be the cells and it'll tell me inside here I would have to go through and uh, make this much larger for that to uh, be legible so that they aren't overlapping with each other I'm gonna control Z out just so that I have my data points and it's nice and clean I can add in these uh, titles if I needed to but I'm gonna right click here and add my trend line then it told me already that it needs to be linear and then down here I want to display my equation if I wanted to display R squared uh, if I was like in the other examples going to find if exponential or polynomial order order 2 which is a quadratic uh, is a better fit you'll notice actually that R squared is very similar in each of these and you might end up with a situation like that in your homework or maybe on a test or in real life where it's not that big of a difference and so the trick is to actually pick the easiest of the equations in this case linear so that if I want to substitute and predict a different um, number that it makes it much easier in my calculations so uh, but they already told us to go ahead and use the linear one and we have our equation here I can come in and copy this uh, control C come over here and I can control V or command V and paste that in I'm going to delete the Y uh, equals because that's already included here and include all the decimal places shown in Excel so that's perfect uh, that's uh, just fine now we can move to the next one if a country has a latitude of 52 how many winning medals would you predict for their country so I'm going to come down just a little bit and paste my trend line here the equation and uh, actually I'm gonna paste it twice the first one so that I know what the equation is and the second one so that I can actually calculate uh, the first thing I need to do is fix this and put multiply here because Excel needs to be told the operation and then I need to substitute in 52 and take away the Y here so that it will calculate for me and press enter and that gives me 12.9724 I need to round this to the nearest whole number so that rounds up for me to the nearest uh, to 13 next um, can you conclude that living at a higher latitude causes a country to win more medals in the Winter Olympics? So this is where we're asking you to think critically about why the correlation might be higher with uh, the Winter Olympics for 
the countries that might have a higher latitude. Remember, latitude is the one that goes in a horizontal fashion. Longitude is the uh, vertical orientation. So the countries that are in the more northern and above hemisphere, uh, why they might. Um, the first thing I want to point out is that this idea that it causes a country does not fit in the concept of predictions and trend lines. Uh, correlation does not mean causation. And I'm not actually going to tell you which of these is correct. I'd like you to do that on your own. Uh, but just keep in mind what might be the underlying factor of having a country or um, location that is higher north, northern up that might uh, affect their winnings in a Winter Olympics event. All right, good luck on your homework.